Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So now we are going to do lead code bi-weekly second question and this question is time needed to rearrange a binary string. So basically in this question, uh, we are given with a binary string S in one second, all occurrences of 0, 1 and simultaneously replaced with 1, 0. This process repeats until no occurrence of 0, 1 exists. So basically in this question, uh, we are required to simply flip all the 0, 1s into 1, 0 the way they are given here that after 1 second all the occurrences of 0, 1 which would be there right all these occurrences they would be flipped to 1, 0. So this is the thing which we would be doing and all this we need to do in such a way that we are able to get the count of all the occurrences and then again we are able to get the means after after flipping of this we are able to get this particular new string, right? And then after getting this new string, then we are required to flip this particular string 0, 1 again to all the 1, zeros. Like this whole process will go on and in this only, we are just required to count the number of steps which are being involved here. So that's the thing. So the intuition behind this is that one string is there and in that all the occurrences which we will be getting as 0, 1 at that particular moment, we will be flipping all of them. That's the thing. And then uh, we'll store this new formed particular string into our new string and increment our count because this was task of one step. Now this new string will be again processed and uh, uh, again processed in the same manner the way we were earlier doing. We are swapping all of them, right? And then after swap is done, so we will store this new uh, string into a new temporary string and in that, after storing that, we'll increment one count as one step got uh, one step got completed. So like this, we only will repeat this process until we got a final string where all zero ones has been redirected to one zero. So this is thing which we are required to do in this question. So yeah, now let us move ahead uh, with this uh, approach of doing the same. So here's the thing: uh, we'll keep a int count equals to zero at the starting count would be 0 because there could be instance where we'll encounter such example where all the 1s and zeros are separated so here no 0 1 uh, instance is there and then string present equals to s so here we are uh, first taking the virtual present string which we are having we are directly storing that into our present and here we are in actual running a loop in such a manner so that this uh, we come out of this loop at only that condition we when we encounter a flag not equals to 2. Then only we will be getting out of this loop that is at this particular condition. So now comes the part that int has 0 equals to 0 at the starting. This is our flag and now we will be doing our operations in this. So here we will be first iterating the whole uh, string and then in that if i plus 1 is less than s dot length. Right? So if this is the criteria, then we will be going ahead because there could be instance when we reach at the last one, right? So avoiding the runtime error at the same scenario. So that's why we are doing so. So here we will take that if s of i equal, equal equals to 0 and s of i plus 1 equal equals to 1. If that is the criteria, then we are required to swap it, right? So here we'll mark our has 0, 1 equals to 1 this flag is 1 and then we will be swapping this why we are swapping because we basically require a new string right so that's why we will swap both of these and now it will become 1 0 right so this if condition and then in this for loop now we are going ahead with the other instances also means when we will be doing it as 0 1 now it will become uh, 1 0 right so after this we are moving ahead with our next instances in this particular only and then we, uh, we will be going it and all the uh, means if we see here we said there we were having 0 1 and then again 0 1 and then again 0 1 all these would be swapped because of this particular condition only and then this has one which is there that will be remaining one and because of this has one equals to one only means after we exit this particular for loop at first instance then we will be first storing our string which was there means after swapping all the 0 1 instances to 1 0 at the first step that would be stored here and then we will take that was there has 0 1 
equals to one. That if it is was there, then we will be incrementing our count. That is the com uh, completed one step. And if it was not the case, then we will break out from the loop. So this is the thing which we would be doing here. And uh, now when we got a new string here, s right. So as we were uh, doing all this in while of one, that is infinite loop, and it breaks only when we got some condition like this, the way we are using here. So then we will be again running our this loop and traversing our string again and again the all instances would repeat and then after we uh, got a thing like this that now there are nothing has uh, zero one conditions so then we will be returning our count so uh, okay this I had so this is and this got accepted so this was all for this particular question. And now come see part for the third question and even the time complexity for the same is basically n square just because of the fact because we are using these two uh, nested loop right and the space complexity is basically order of one only so yeah this was all for this particular question now let us head towards the third question after this contest so this was all for this thank you.